Welcome to Buddy Recaps. Let's talk about a 2005 psychological thriller film called The Quiet Spoilers. Ahead, watch out and take care. The movie opens with showing a deaf and mute girl named Dot. Her father got passed away recently in an accident and she has been adopted by her godparents. She always feels alone and like an outcast because of her disabilities. Nina, her god sister who is a beautiful and popular girl in the school with many friends. She doesn't like being with Dot and she always makes fun of her with her friends. One day while at the cafeteria Nina makes fun of Dot along with her friends. The school's guidance counselor Janice sees this and comes to Dot and asks her if she could join with Dot for lunch refuses her offer and goes into a bathroom stall where she feels safe and much less lonely when she is alone. She stays there for a while. Then Nina comes there and finds her and pulls her out with anger and takes Dot to home. After getting home Nina's mother Olivia tells her to get along with Dot and make her fell at home. But Nina tells that it is not her decision to bring Dot into the home, so it's not her responsibility. Later at the medical store, Janice meets with Paul, Nina's father, and asks him about Dot and tells why she is being upset all the time. Paul then tells her she recently lost her father and says her mother died when she was seven because of cancer. Janice appreciates Paul for being such a good person. Later Paul gets to home and gives the medicine to Nina which he bought earlier. Nina asks Dot to take the medicine to which Dot immediately refuses. Then Paul goes to see Olivia who is passed out on the floor in the room that is being renovated. She has a drinking problem and suffers from depression. Paul takes her to the bed and gives her medicine later while at the table. Paul notices awkward silence between the girls and Paul says to Nina that she should learn sign language to get along with Dot but Nina walks away after saying that she will be staying at her best friend Michelle's house next day at school in the biology class Dot was teamed up with Connor Kennedy the popular and handsome guy in the school. Later during lunch Nina and her friends are gossiping as usual and then Michelle brings about the topic of virginity and Nina is teased by her friends for being a 17 year old virgin even though she is very beautiful and can get all the men she wants but she remains silent and doesn't react to her friends tons. Next scene Dot goes into the music room starts to play piano which she learned from when she was able to hear Connor sees this from the door and sees her for a while before being pulled away by his friends. Later, D.O.D. gets into the bathroom and sees Nina there while she is minding her own business. Nina talks to her friendly and puts some lipstick on her. Dot thinks that Nina is finally getting along with her. But when she looked at the mirror there is lipstick smeared all over her face. Later that night Dot wakes up in the middle and she starts to remember her father and is feeling sad about his death. Then she goes out of the room to get some fresh air. Then she peeks into Nina's room through the gap of the door, where she sees Nina and her father together on the bed. Dot feels so uncomfortable about this and rushes back into her room the next day while having dinner. Nina says that she will go to a movie with her friends and she will stay at Michelle's house to which her mother agrees. But Paul says no one tells her to stay at home. Then Nina rubs her leg to Paul's to seduce him into letting her go which left him speechless. And Nina says that she will go and when they didn't talk she takes that as a yes and goes after to call. Michelle then Paul into a debate with Olivia for letting Nina do whatever she wants and she is spoiling her and he goes away. Then Dot comes to her and Olivia starts talking about Dot's mother and how they met and how she used to be. And then she shows her mother's picture to Dot from when she and Olivia are friends later. Dot comes to Olivia and says that she wants to go to the movie too to which she agrees and lets Paul drive her there. She gets to the movie and sits alone away from all her friends. Then Connor says to others that they should ask Dot to sit with them to which the others makes fun of Dot in her condition. But Nina shows a soft corner on her and tells that she lost her hearing after her mom died while watching the movie. Nina closes her ear to know how it feels like to not being able to hear, but she stops when she notices D.O.D. is watching her. After that she gets to Michelle's house and they talks about if they ever kissed anyone while watching a movie and TV. And they talk about what they want to do. After finishing school later, Dodd wasn't able to sleep and gets to the door when she see Paul's shadow she goes and acts like sleeping. Paul gets into D.O.D.'s room and talks thinking she is asleep says that he hates himself for doing this to his daughter but he went too far and says when he took Dot and he thought that her presence would make him stop going into Nina's room. But it didn't happen next day while having lunch. Brain invites Nina and Michelle along with Connor to his house and says his parents are not home so they can have fun. Michelle tries to convince Nina to sneak out after their parents are asleep after she said she can't. Nina tells her she will try after school. Nina gets to home while Dot is playing piano and watches from side. Then a piano string snaps out Dot swears out loud. Nina hears 
hears this and shocked to know that Dot is able to speak and hear all this time. Then Nina goes back to the door slams the door hard to let Do know someone was coming next day at school. Nina approaches Dot who is eating alone and tells she know that Dot can speak and hear but Dot pretends not to hear any of this and continues to eat her lunch. Nina tells her plan to kill her dad with Michelle's gun and tells her that she hates her father when he doesn't let her go out with her friends and says but she also like her father when he fucks her and uses it to get what she wants and hates him for same reason too. Even after saying all this Dodd doesn't react to her later Dodd goes to the music room and plays piano. Connor sees her and starts watching her through the door when he decides to go and Dot notices him and gets her bag to go out. Connor stops her and asks her out her on a date by saying that he wants to complete the lab report together. But Dot hands him over the already completed lab report and goes from there later that night while they're having dinner Nina hears the doorbell rings and goes to open the door thinking it is Michelle but it's Connor. He asks if she here Nina thinks he is asking for Michelle and says she is not Connor then says that he is here for Dot. Nina takes him in and introduces to her parents. Connor asks for Dot to come over to the library to complete the lab report. At first she rejects but when she sees Michelle arrives there and hands over something to Nina. Dot remembers about what she said on killing her dad and decides to go with Connor later. Paul talked with Nina tells her to make Michelle go to her home. Nina gets in and tells her to go home and she says no when Michelle said that she will pick her up later to go to Brain House. Michelle goes out in anger. Meanwhile Connor takes her to a diner and he talked with her about the report for a few seconds, then starts to talk how he feels about her and tells his fantasies about her. Then Dot sees an ambulance moving outside and thinks Nina has done something and goes to the house and gets to know that everything is okay and sees the bag for the package Michelle bring turns out they are just books. She then gets to Nina's room and hears them. She sensed that Nina sound clearly uncomfortable with Paul and she breaks a statue to disturb them. Nina comes out and Paul goes to his room and Nina helps Dot to clean the mess. Nina gets into bed and she is crying when Dot gets into bed and holds her. She goes to sleep the following day while Nina is ironing her cheerleader uniform. She tells her to plan to Dot. She tells that she will burn her father's face with iron this night and show her an example by burning the face of a teddy bear. Dot still thinks that Nina doesn't know that she can hear and continues to behave like she didn't hear anything later that evening. Nina is at the cheerleading team when a basketball match is going on. Connor plays so bad and got sent to the bench by the coach after the game. Connor meets Dot who is waiting for him and she takes him to the pool. They sit by the poolside and Connor starts talking about how he fantasizes about her all the time and tells that he kissed many girls before but never had sex with anyone while he is talking. Dot takes her shirt off and kisses him and they both gets intimate by the poolside back at the home. Olivia suggests to Paul that Nina and Connor would make a great couple but hearing that makes Paul mad and he accuses her for making her daughter dress like a slut while they are talking. Olivia tries to seduce Paul by taking her clothes off and invites him to bed. But Paul rejects later. Nina returns to home at midnight and she is tired after cheering all day. Paul gives her a handbag as a gift and tries to take advantage of her. She says she has to iron her uniform and goes to her room. Then we notice that Olivia is wide awake and seems to know what is happening all this time and still does nothing to stop him. He gets into Nina's room. Nina makes him sit on the bed and tells him to close his eyes. She is prepared to burn his face off with the iron. When she about to do that, D.O.D. returns to home. Nina hears this and backs off. Then she claims that she is pregnant and tells that she took a test and haven't had a period in six weeks. Paul is horrified upon hearing this news. Then she asks him for $1,000 for abortion. He agrees to hand it over to her. The next day later Nina goes to Dot's room and confesses that she is not brave enough to kill her father next day. While at the cafeteria Connor comes to Dot and asks her to dance with him today for the prom. Later that night Nina lends Dot dress to get ready to the school dance and tells that she lied to Paul about being pregnant and says that she will run out of the home with the money. He will give her and goes to another state and lives there and makes money even if it means to become a stripper. After the confession Nina applies some lipstick to Dot but this time she does it without making her look like a clown. Later while Paul is looking for Nina to give her the money he finds tampons in her bag which makes him believe that she has been lying about the pregnancy. He goes to her and he shows her the tampons and asks her to tell the truth. Nina tries to make up lie about the tampons not being her. Michelle, Paul doesn't believe it and he starts to slap her on the face and he forces himself on Nina. Olivia hears her daughter being in pain but does 
nothing about it. Also hears this while playing piano and she stops it and rips out a piano wire and walks towards them while Paul is busy forcing himself on Nina. Gets behind him and strangles him with a wire while screaming at him to leave Nina alone. And Paul falls dead after she stops Nina. Gets shocked and curses. For killing her daddy. Olivia comes there and she is more shocked. Being able to speak than her husband being dead. Meanwhile, Michelle gets there and rings the doorbell to get to the school dance. They both quickly get dressed up and keeps the one with blood stains in a bag to dispose of them later. And they got to school after getting to school. Dances with Connor, but she is too distracted to pay attention to him. Then Nina takes the backpack and gets into the bathroom stall and hides there until the party to be over back at home. Olivia is in the bedroom and staring at her husband's dead body. The only thing she regrets is not being brave enough to save her daughter from a person like him. Meanwhile at the party while Dot is leaving and Connor calls her name and Connor gets shocked after she responds. Then he realizes she can hear and she knows all his dirty secrets. Then he calls her a psycho for betraying him and leaves the place in anger. After the party is over Nina and Dot goes to the nearby creek by taking the bag with them to bury it and planning on to bury the body later after burying the bag Nina asks her why she pretended to be mute and deaf all this time to which Dot tells her that her father is mute and deaf and she wants to like him. Then they both rushes back to home to get rid of the body. But they get surprised to see cops all over her house and Olivia is being escorted out of the house in handcuffs. They ask her what happened to which Olivia claims she killed Paul and she apologizes to Nina for what she has done while the police think she is talking about killing Paul. Nina understands that she is talking about not being able to help her and the cops takes her away. In the last scene we were shown Nina and Du are playing the piano together and the film ends. Thanks for watching the video. Video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe the channel and also click the bell icon to receive new video notifications.